here is a screen of the D365 security menu. If you notice that in D365, the navigation for every menu is usually on the top. System administration, security, and security configuration is where we go in to look at all the roles, duties, and privileges. System has close to 100 different roles. And if you notice, these are all the different roles that come out of the box when you install D365 brand new. And each of the roles are actually made up of numerous duties. If you were to look at the duties by themselves, there are close to 2,500 duties that are in the system that are clubbed under these close to 100 roles. And the duties are made out of privileges. Here's a list of privileges, about 8,800 privileges in total in the system that are grouped within the duties. If you were to look at a role and try to see what duties are associated with those roles, if someone clicks on the duty screen itself, which is under the role and in the reference point, if they click on the duty, it actually tells the security administrator all of the duties that are clubbed under the accountant role. And looking at any one of these duties, if you click on that duty and on the reference, if you click on the privilege, it tells you all of the privileges that are clubbed under this duty, configure electronic fiscal document or for that matter, enable bank management process. Enable bank management process will give the user access to all of these privileges. And within the privilege, approve bank account reconciliation. If I look at that privilege, then the menu actions are actually the permissions. Incidentally, this privilege only has one permission tied under it. There are other privileges that has multiple permissions in them. So this is the menu action, which is pretty much the privilege that is tied within this privilege. Going back to the users, 